today I'm sharing with you my simple cottage fall porch decorations. I love fall so much and I wanted to get one more set of decorations out before I start with my winter theme. Today is also a challenge, I'll explain that in a little bit. Welcome to my channel Freckled Mom DIY, I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, hey! So I am starting with some corn stalks, and for whatever reason, I could not find corn stalks anywhere near my house. I had to drive about 30 minutes, which is okay, because I found a new farm stand that I am in love with. So here I am just tying them up with some good old rope, nothing special. I think this adds to the charm of my porch and I just love having corn stalks. I love how they change colors as the season goes and I just think they're super cute. So I did put three of them up around the corner over here. So there's one in the front, one in the side, and one on the back. And that way you can see it from all the directions. I have my life is better at the cottage sign that I got on clearance from Michaels and I'm just laying this out where I think it's going to be cute. I want to put out some pumpkins and gourds and just add a little something something. This is a challenge hosted by Lisa from our grey house and Sarah from GGB Sarah. We are all to create something fall, Thanksgiving or harvest themed and I'm super excited to see what everyone else creates. So make sure you head down to my description, check out the host channels as well as the playlist. Decorating for me is a little trial and error. It's always going back and forth with different things, seeing what looks good and what doesn't. And really this is all up to you, how you want to decorate and what you think is comfortable for you. I brought over my hay barrels and I'm just going to start arranging around the front door. Of course I have an audience because they would rather be outside helping me but they are inside so they don't run off. I use a little bit of thrifted items and some thrift flips all thrown in together. I think it just adds to the look that I'm always going for. You saw this fall sign over on the side of the stairs, but now I'm going to show you how to make this fall sign. I have been dying to do one of these fall signs for outside. Here is some letters I had printed off my Cameo. This is a board I had gotten for free. It was already like painted and oiled i'm not really sure what was on it but i decided just to put the letters down on the board and you can see i'm having some difficulty because it is a treated wood so you definitely want to pay attention to those kinds of things when you're getting something for free you could have sanded this down but i had an idea and you're gonna see it so i'm just going through with my letters and you can see i'm spelling out the word fall and I am measuring it here and there just to make sure that everything is centered and evenly spaced out. Now I have my ruler from the Dollar Tree. You guys know I love Dollar Tree crafts, although this board was a freebie, like I said, when we cleaned out my grandma's basement. I'm going to give this a quick heavy dry brush with my chalk paint and mineral and then plaster right over these letters. I love to craft and DIY. We live in a hundred year old cottage in New England. There is always some renovation, home improvement, or DIY keeping me busy. You can find me on Instagram as well as Freckled Mom. Come along and see what I'm up to at the cottage. As you can see, there was no rhyme or reason of how much paint I dry brush. I just kept going until I was happy with the look. And here I am just pulling up those vinyl letters now and revealing that wood underneath. So that is why I did not sand it or do anything. I love that color that was already there. These are from Dollar Tree. I just picked them off of a garland and I'm hot gluing them together and I'm going to glue them right to my board. And here it is. It is so beautiful. 
I am so obsessed with this. Uh, this is my first big board like this, so I am just super impressed and so in love with how this came out. Down in the comments, let me know which DIY was your favorite today. Stay tuned for the final reveal and see what's coming up next. At nighttime, it looks really pretty when these candles are all lit up, so I'm going to show you now how to make these adorable candles. So here is a wicked cute idea. I saw some candy corns. I'm not a big fan of candy corns, so I decided to make these glass candle holders and just use the colors that match my house and match my decor. So my first layer was spice berry. My second layer is truffle and I'm just going around. This is gold and I'm doing two coats, not seen here, but I do two coats and three coats of the gold. And then I have my plaster and I'm just doing a little bit at the top just to give it a little variation. Now you gotta stay here with me, okay? I'm going to try to blend this so it's an ombre effect. So where the red meets the brown, I mix those two together and with a little sponge dabber, I'm just dabbing it on. And again, I do two coats of this at one after each one dries. In between the truffle and the gold, I mix those two together and I'm blending those. I'm sure there's an easier way and maybe it would be even a cuter way. I don't know, but this is for outside. So I wasn't trying to make it super perfect. Here is the gold mixed with the plaster. And this one was a little funny. So I remixed it and I add a little bit more gold to it. And that way, when I went through with my second layer, it, max it matched a little bit better. And then I just go around and anywhere I feel like it needs to be blended more, I blend it. And this was definitely a little bit messy and a little time consuming because I had to wait for everything to dry. Although you could just use your dryer and dry it. But I think this is so sweet. And these are the glass bases from Dollar Tree. I have some candles that I got from Walmart that fit perfectly in here. And I'm just laying them out. And again, these are super heavy duty because they're glass from Dollar Tree. And I just think it adds such an ambiance to my outdoor fall setup. I just think this is so sweet. I love the colors. It is so relaxing. I literally have sat out here so long just reading and drinking my coffee and I'm just in love. At the farm stand that I went to, I got so many different colored pumpkins and gourds. I just love them all. And like I said, I love using antique items. I had gotten these keys from my husband who found them at a job and I am in love with them. I have a few different seating areas on the porch. It's a wraparound porch, so I have a lot of room to work with. So I am just moving the chairs around and adding pillows, just making it super cozy for hanging outside. I had refinished this bench for one of my summer videos and I am still in love with the color. It is a very nice color to work for all seasons. I am just cleaning up and freshening up everything, moving chairs around and fluffing out my rugs and just making it, again, super cozy. I love sitting out here in the morning and drinking my coffee and watching my neighbors go by. We live in the city. It is super busy, so it is definitely a nice area to just sit out and relax and converse with my neighbors. I added a little bit of garland to the top of the door and it was just enough to add a little color. It was nice and simple. Now I'm going to show you my fall decorations for this faux mantle place. This DIY is so adorable. This could be for indoor or outdoor. So I started with a mason jar. You can get whatever jar you like. I like the mason jar. I have a burlap fabric and some stencils and some ribbon from Dollar Tree. 
So I am going to use this Apple Barrel Spiced Berry because it matches the ribbon, but you could do whatever color scheme you wanted. Here I am just cutting how much fabric I need to cover this mason jar. And I'm going to hot glue the ribbon, this is a wired ribbon, right to my mason jar. Now you can get mason jars in big packages or you could get them singly at Dollar Tree. I buy them in a big package. I think it's more cost effective that way and I go through a lot of them. So you can do whatever works for you. Now I am cutting four pieces of ribbon and they're all the same length so you could just measure them out. I'm doing one by one here. And again, I'm going to hot glue the ribbon right to my mason jar. And then I'm going to wrap it around and hot glue the other end right to the top of the ribbon. And I do this for all four. You could do this for fall, for Easter, for whatever holiday or season you wanted. This is such a cute idea and I'm definitely making more. So now we have our burlap that I am cutting out and I'm just cutting out enough burlap so I can stencil these letters and these letters you saw in my previous project they're just cardboard stencils I love the rustic cottage feel and here I am I am just stenciling it now and I did one coat with my apple barrel and I'm just going over it so the burlap is taped down just to give me a little bit more security and I am just going right through and I am not being careful about it because it's burlap. You really can't get a bleed through on it. And I'm taking the same brush and I'm painting the top to the mason jars and I do give these two coats and a couple touch ups needed a, th a third coat. So that is up to your preference, how you want it to look. I wanted it to look with no metal, if that makes sense. I just wanted the burlap and this spice berry. So here I am hot gluing my stenciled burlap right to this mason jar. I think this is so sweet. I just think it's so cute. I can't stand how adorable this is. And I'm trying different ways of hot gluing it to see which way is best. This one I just put some circles of hot glue in the corners and the other ones I did lines so it really didn't matter. They've been outside, they've held pretty well through two storms now. So I think it doesn't matter how you hot glue it. You could probably use some kind of fabric adhesive. I like the hot glue, I think it worked out just fine. And now I am putting my covers back on and this is literally so cute, but it needs a little something something. So I have some Dollar Tree flowers here and I am just mixing them up. There's a couple different kinds. And then I had a couple extra sprigs of some cotton and how sweet is this? This is so perfect for indoor or outdoor and you could change this up for whatever season you're doing. But today it works just fine for fall. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm so excited for Christmas, but I wanted to get one last hurrah in with my fall decorations. Don't forget to head down to my description to check out the supplies that I use, as well as the links to connect with me on Instagram and Facebook and my Amazon store. Down in my description is also the links for the host of this challenge and the playlist. I have a lot coming up and I'm super excited, so make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I do have an open playlist on November 4th, Room by Room, co-hosted by Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating. If you would like more information, head on over to my Instagram and check out the post or send me a message. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys soon hang out and watch the final reveal and at the end there's a fun little photo shoot I did to close out my fall season.